Alright, I think this is episode 20, and let's go ahead and use these uh, textures that we've created to create some random ships. So we'll go ahead and create a new script called a ship creator. Or maybe a ship... ships... no, ship creator is the best one. There we are. I'll open that up. And now inside of the garden scene, which is where we, this is where we do all of our general development work. Uh, we don't need that sphere anymore, it's just silly in the way. Uh, this is where we do our general development work, so let's go ahead and move this ship just aside for a while. Uh, sorry. Um, because we're going to have this uh, ability to create ships and spawn them in arbitrarily. There we go. And uh, we'll add the ship creator to that. Might as well name it ship creator. There we go. So here is our no, 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 no. There it is. All right. So we need a couple of things. The first thing we're going to need is that, uh, oh, actually we can use normal arrays, so that's fine. So we're going to create an array called public um, um, mesh uh, uh, hull two by one meshes. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to come up with a naming convention. Meshes, hull two by one. There we are. That's it. that's better. This is actually a bracket. So, and then we have public texture two D uh, base textures, logo textures, or side textures, top textures. When we have other textures, we can put them in as well, but for now we've only got those three kinds. So those are the three kinds we'll use. So the ship creator does nothing on its own. Hold on. So the ship creator does nothing on its own. What it does instead is it creates a ship when you tell it to. So we do public ship create random ship. So we need to have a prefab for it. So let's go ahead and create the prefab. Public game ob oh, public ship pref uh, ship prefab, and that's going to be an empty prefab. But you know what else we need? Public weapon weapons. There you go. So when we create a random ship, what we're going to do is we're going to say ship new ship equals ship instantiate instantiate ship prefab. And uh, we're using textures. These are not textures. These are materials. So these are all. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and get the mesh filter object from the ship. But that's actually something that we don't have right now because the mesh filter object, the mesh render rather, is a. Uh, is a sub component of the ship. So what we're actually going to do is the ship is not going to have a mesh renderer built into it. We're going to have a ship prefab, but we're also going to have uh, just game object, I guess. We're also just going to have a mesh object, and that's going to be something that we create and add to the ship. So uh, game object body a whole equals uh, game object instantiate mesh object. So then we're going to put the mesh object inside of the new ship. And we're going to go ahead and make that hull have uh, the proper mesh filter and materials. So we get the mesh filter uh, equals get component or whole dot get component mesh filter 
and then we have mesh renderer equals hull dot get component component mesh renderer. Then we say mfilter dot mesh equals uh, meshes hull two by one math f dot floor to int uh, random nut value times meshes hull two by one dot length. And then we say that our uh, mrend dot materials. Uh, so we need to create a new materials. Uh, uh, we need to create a new material stack because you can't modify the material stack directly. Uh, it doesn't work. You have to pull it out and then put it back in. But in our case, we don't even need to pull it out. We're just going to stuff it in because we know exactly what it's supposed to be. Too many brackets. But we also want to set the colors now, don't we? So let's go ahead and uh, just set the colors arbitrarily. go. So we've got all of that stuff working fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and add an arbitrary weapon. And then we say new weapon dot transform dot parent equals hull dot transform. And then we return new ship. Uh, no. There we are. So this is really just us setting up a couple of random colors and so on and so forth. Uh, and so what we're going to do is when you spawn into this map, we're going to go ahead and just create a ship at random just for the sake of having one. Um, later on we'll make it so that it spawns in based on the star's parameters and based on whether or not you've done anything in that star before. So let's go ahead and see whether or not that takes. Uh, we don't need this dummy ship anymore, but we do need to... Let's just... Instead of actually getting... Mm, I guess it's okay if we just delete the dummy ship. It has no real value. So now we have to go ahead and add these uh, holes. So uh, one problem is that these uh, holes, the meshes that we create, these are all going to be un... Oh, we should have named these better, because I think they're all named cube, because I didn't bother to rename anything. By the way, if you're wondering, these um, faceless files here that don't have any kind of uh, import values or anything, those are Blender's backup files. So you can delete them if you don't like them there. They don't make any difference either way. So let's go ahead and just add our two textures. Uh, and later on we'll remember to name them uh, after this. We will we'll name them after this. And then we'll add the base material. Right now there's only one base material. And there's only one side material. And there's only one top material. And there's only one weapon. All right. So let's go ahead and see what that does. Now we're going to get some errors because we don't have a player ship, but that's okay. We just want the. Oh, I forgot to create the ship prefab. Brilliant. Oh, I knew I didn't want to delete the. 
That's okay, we'll use the player ship. I was going to use the dummy ship as a, uh, as a base for this, because there's less modifications to do, but that's okay. So we need the ship script, but we don't want any, anything nearly this strong. Um, that's fine. We don't need the ship controls. Do, 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 do. We don't need the ship nav controls. We don't need the ship persistent player ship. We do, however, need the ship enemy. Here it is. And uh, inside here, we don't need that capsule. But we actually do need to have that capsule, just not inside the enemy ship. So we're actually going to drag it out separately, put it into prefab. We're going to name it uh, ship hull fab. And just drag it into our prefabs, and then we can delete it. We don't need it from. We don't need it in that ship because it'll be added. Uh, we don't need the dummy weapon, but we do need all of this stuff for now. So this enemy ship, we'll just stick it into the prefabs like so, and now we'll go into the ship. We delete it out of the just out of the stage. Go into the ship creator, and those are the two things that we're going to need. We're going to need the ship hull fab here in the mesh object and the enemy ship here in the ship prefab. All right, so let's go ahead and see whether that creates a random ship. Yeah, there, see? So we've got a random ship, and it's upside down. All right, no biggie. The problem is that the ship hull fab was not rotated correctly because uh, I didn't save it as rotated. Oh, and we don't need to have this resize. There we are. We don't need this resize. Oh, that's fine. There we go. All right, so here you can see that we've got a random ship, and it's got this. Oh, did I put in the shield? I put in the shield fab as the. I did the shield material. We wanted the ship material. There it is. For there, because uh, that blue is not what we want there. But you can see that. Oh, Got to do it after you've hit stop. But you can see that this now works. We are building these enemy ships, and they are going to be random. So that means they're going to have a random color top and a random, uh, once you have multiple logos, they'll have a random set of logos. Uh, so you can see now that we have a way of building randomized ships. And in a very short amount of time, oh, that's off center. Okay, well, the UV map needs some work. Uh, in a very short amount of time, uh, you can do things like build fleets that all have the same color icons and so on and so forth. Uh, all told, uh, it's a pretty easy way to make the ships unique, and since we are using that generic UV map, uh, all of the ships will be able to have the same set of materials applied to them, and it'll work fine. So that's all I wanted to show you today. We're now building a random enemy ship in the garden, so when we spawn in, we will fight a random enemy ship rather than a specific enemy ship, but we're going to wait until next episode to actually start doing that.